This video is about selecting columns from a table of data using the dplyr select function. And since we're using dplyr, the first thing that we need to do uh, is load dplyr so that R can use it. And if you remember from last time, we do that using the library function. So I'm gonna go ahead and type library, parentheses, and then the name of the package that we wanna use. So that's dplyr. And then I need to run this line of code. And we've been doing that using the run button. We can also do it from the keyboard using control enter, which is what I'll go ahead and do here. We also need some data to work with. And so we're gonna go ahead and load the surveys table from the portal project uh, that we've already talked about. And so remember to do that, we wanna pick a good name for the table that we're gonna use in R. And so I'm gonna use surveys since that's the table that we're working with. And then to that, we want to assign, so use the assignment operator, this table. And we read the table in using the function read.csv, parentheses, and then in quotes, the name of the file that we wanna load. And so uh, we can see down here at the bottom, that's surveys.csv. I can type it all the way in, or I can start typing it and hit tab, and our studio will figure out what we're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and run that line. And now we can see over in the global environment, we have the surveys table loaded again. And if we click on it, because it's a data frame, which is what we call data tables in R, uh, we can see it displayed as a table. And so we've got month, day, and year information, the plot, the species ID uh, for the individual captured, uh, and some measures of that individual, uh, including weight, uh, hind foot length, and sex. And so now that we have some data loaded, uh, we can go ahead and select from it. And so we do that using the select function, and it allows us to pick columns uh, that we want to just focus on the specific data that we're interested in working with. And so let's say that we were only interested in the date information in this table. The first argument in all dplyr functions is the table that we want to work on. And so in this case, it's the surveys table, the name that we gave the table up here. And then the other arguments to select are the names of the columns that you wanna keep. And because they are names of columns, they don't have quotation marks. They're a part of the table. They're not a piece of information in the table. They're actually part of the table structure. And so here we could say year, month, and day. And if we run that line of code, what we'll see for output, if we scroll up here a bit, are the, is a data frame with just a year, month, and day column. And it shows us the first few hundred rows, uh, but we can see that it's left out a bunch of them. And if you add 333 to 35,216, uh, we'll get the same number of rows here. So we've got all the rows from the table, but just the three columns we selected. And when we select data, we can select it in any order. So again, we'll select from the surveys table, but now we could select the month first, and then the day, and then the year, and we'll get them out in a different order. So that's the basic idea uh, behind how to select columns using the select function in dplyr. The first argument for all functions in dplyr is the table that we're going to work with, and then we provide it, we provide select the name of all of the columns we want to keep. In order to save time with these setup steps in the next few videos, uh, I will leave this information in place and then we'll go on to use other things. So 
to start the next two videos, you'll need to have loaded dplyr and loaded the surveys table.